Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to take a look on the first impression of the Oxygen OS uh, Beta 10 for the OnePlus 3, not for the OnePlus 3D. So yesterday I just read on some forums on the XT like there was a leaked uh, image came for the OnePlus 3D which is supposed to be a uh, coming upcoming a beta program for the Android Nougat but I just checked the official OnePlus 3 forum or OnePlus forum there was nothing such like that so in case you're trying to do that so don't try that already I bricked my device yesterday twice so anyway coming here uh, this is uh, OnePlus 3 right here and this is 3G so uh, we will just uh, compare and check out what other things came here and optionally we will verify with the latest and stock purest Android Nougat on the Pixel followed by some reference on this uh, OnePlus 3 so for details change log you can use the official oneplus uh, community app if you just go there and just, just type here beta 10 you will come to know this is what uh, here and this is the official post by this tony so you can read that so these are the all features that are added in this build so we'll take a look on one by one and first off installation steps so there are a couple of ways to install on my previous video i've shown you you can use adb site load method you can do that and this time i tried uh, actually i installed the stock recovery then I went to download the OTA and it was near to 173 MB but when I went to installation it was failed so again it went back on the normal restart and it downloaded the complete file it was somewhere near to 1.4 GB so in that way it was installed successfully so either you can download the complete flash image you can use chirp image and you need to be rooted and you can see previous videos how to root 1 plus 3 and 3T then you can install that so these are the ways you can install the so first here is the, is the uh, added data saver so inside the data usage if you go you can see there's a section here actually they moved it here so in the official Android Nougat it is data saver so you can turn that on so what is that feature so once you turn that on if you are on the uh, say mobile data so by default uh, no none of the app can access internet when it is in the background for example I'm running this creator studio if I just uh, minimize it it will not run the in the background so you need to explicitly allow that application so you can configure that what are the apps uh, you can use that you can go to the app section settings apps and from there you can do unlimited access so when you turn that on you will get this you can see there's a plus uh, icon on the both sides and it shows actually data is being saved so this is the first change the next change is fixed lock screen clock bug in the portrait mode and i was not able to reproduce that bug uh, because i didn't notice such thing and anyway this is something bug that has been fixed and the next is fixed issue of the reverting a default theme so for example if you just this is the stock oxygen launcher if you just change some of the stuff like wallpapers and widgets so when it's a reboot uh, it just reverts the default it actually brings the never settle uh, wall lock screen the wallpaper so sometimes it's annoying because uh, whatever you selected it doesn't come up so this is about the third fix next is optimizing fingerprint unlocking speed so i was checking this actually so i've just taken one plus three as a reference here and i'm just going to do a bit of locking and locking here so let's see which one does unlock faster so right now both are turned off i use double tap to lock screen all right so i'm just going to unlock this unlock so by the way this is a uh, 3t and this is three unlocking in three two one you can see both are locking simultaneously at the same time you can see uh, both are unlock unlocking pretty very fast so maybe there is some internal uh, bit of minute optimization all right so this is uh, optimize the quality of expanded screenshot so if i just take three finger screenshot on both places so if i just try here again if i just click here it will keep on scrolling so it's a bit smooth i will say so moving to the next change uh, it is uh, optimized wi-fi performance so i cannot confirm it as of now i'm still but i'm getting full wi-fi network i can say that and because i'm just very near to the router so i will check this thing here i will just go a bit further take both both the devices together and let's see which one does uh, better connectivity and the next is optimize system performance and the battery consumption so uh, battery i'm testing out and i will need at least one or two days i will make a full review like kind of a sorties i'm getting any major serious bug i did notice here or not so that i will let you guys know soon so this is about the change logs now you will see the performance change in terms of nt2 and the geek benchmark 4 now we'll talk about the geek benchmark 4 so this is oneplus 3 uh, with the beta 10 and comparing with the oneplus 3t running the commutable senior fighter 4 so you can see just to guys give a reference this is the performance difference not much i uh, just touched that both devices working pretty much fine and talking about the n2 so here are the n2 scores and this is with the beta 10 this is with the 
you know, if I did four now take a look on this so four um, from beta 7 to beta 10 and compare the geek benchmark test so you can see start from the 1724 with the beta 7 and go still 1716 so single core score doesn't change much but yeah multi core score for the beta 10 is definitely higher than all the previous beta 7 beta 8 beta 9 so definitely there is a performance improvement now just talking about the entity result here so starting with the beta 7 and uh, comparing the last beta 10 so definitely a score is improved it is somewhat similar to the beta 8 anyway doesn't matter so finally we found the score is uh, uh, highest compared to all the beta 7 beta 8 beta 9 so there you have it guys for the performance of geek benchmark test results so overall uh, i installed yesterday night and i'm using it pretty much great it's working smooth i don't have any issues and i was just comparing with the battery results because the previous beta 9 was giving me near to four hours of screen on time i really have to check actually so currently i've just charged my battery here is the one battery and it shows approximately three days left definitely is not going to give me that much and uh, 43 minutes it just uh, 21 percent of battery discharge so there you have it guys a uh, quick first impression for the beta 10 for the one plus three oxygen OS. and i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned i'm just uh, giving you guys a review for the two days whether in terms of any battery consumption major bugs uh shoes or not so in case you still have concern as well just comment me down in the youtube section or you can follow me on the twitter at the red js support to get the more help so this is sort thank you so much for watching i'll catch you next video have a great day